Hello, welcome to Valve channel this evening. When we're going to design a gate valve, a globe valve, or check valve, the valve body will have three flange, two side flange, and one cavity flange. Two side flange will going to connect with the pipe flange to mounting the valve body on the flow control system. And the cavity flange will going to connect with the valve bonnet to seal the pressure inside the valve body. Because flange has one advantage, which is flange are very easy to assembling and disassembling. So most of the time, in flow control system, we are going to use flange to do the connection. But flange has one disadvantage, which is if the pressure are very high, flange are not safe to do the connection. For example, this gate valve is 600 per class. If this valve body is 2,500 per class, what kind of flange we are going to design to seal 2,500 per class? inside the valve body. So 2500 per class gate valve will look like this. We were going to use a tremendous thick flange to do the connection because 2500 per class are very high. To make the flange, to make the connection are safe, so we will use the very thick flange and a very big bolt and nut to do the connection. That is disadvantageous for the flange connection. So engineer really need to design one kind of connection to instead flange connection. So for the valve body and the pipe, we can directly widen two pieces together. But we cannot widen the valve body and the valve bonnet together because we still need to maintain the valve to repair the valve sometimes. So we need some kind of connection are not permanent, still can assembly and disassembly. So we invent one kind of connection, which is called a pressure seal. This is pressure seal, outside look like. The pressure seal are very good design in valve industry. So in this video, we're talking about what is pressure seal, what is advantages for pressure seal valve body. Here is a double gate pressure seal gate valve blueprint. This kind of gate valve are very widely used in power plant, because in power plant, a lot of flow control system pressure are very high, around 1,500 per class. So we were going to use the pressure seal to instead the flange connection for the valve body and the valve bonnet. Here is the valve steam, and this is the valve bonnet, and here is the valve body. So to understand how pressure seal going to seal the pressure inside the cavity, we are going to understand how this part going to work to seal the pressure inside the cavity. So next, uh, I'm going to use uh, one illustration to explain how this part is going to work to seal the pressure inside the cavity. This illustration is going to explain how the pressure seal is going to seal the pressure inside the valve body cavity. Here is a valve body cavity. It contains pressure inside. The pressure are coming from the flow control system. Beside the valve body cavity is the valve body and the valve bonnet. According to this kind of design, when the pressure flow to the valve body cavity, the pressure will going to push the bonnet going up, and the bonnet will going to push the gasket going up, and then the gasket will going to push the intermediate thrust ring going up. But actually, this ring cannot going up anymore because this ring be stopped by another ring, which is called a bonnet retaining ring. This ring are inset inside the valve body. This bonnet retaining ring outside diameter are bigger than the valve body inside diameter. So the bonnet retaining ring will stop the intermediate thrust ring going up. So in this kind of situation, in this kind of in this kind of design, when the cavity have pressure going to push the bonnet, the bonnet will going to squeeze the gasket. Because the gasket are made by soft material, most of the time it is made by uh, graphite. So when the pressure is going to push the bonnet, the pressure will be sealed by the gasket. The pressure cannot flow from the gap between the valve body and the bonnet. It will be stopped by the gasket. So that is the basic principle for the pressure seal to seal the pressure inside the valve body cavity. Pressure seal are very widely used in valve industry, not just for the gate valve. For example, this global valve, 
also use pressure seal to seal the pressure inside the valve body. And also except the gate valve and the global valve, check valve also can use pressure seal to seal the pressure inside the valve body. This pressure seal check valve are going to use flange connection with the pipe, but it use pressure seal to seal the pressure inside the valve body instead to use very big flange to connect the valve body and the valve bonnet. It will save a lot of material. Here is the pressure seal check valve blueprint. It also going to explain how the pressure seal going to work. The pressure we're going to push the valve bonnet going up and the valve bonnet going to push the gasket going up. The gasket will be stopped by the bonnet internal ring. But when you look at this illustration, you may have one question, which is the bonnet internal ring, the outside diameter, are bigger than the valve body inside diameter. So the question is, how to put this big ring inside a valve body? Here is a pressure seal check valve valve body blueprint. According to this blueprint, this location is for the bonnet retaining ring. We will put the bonnet retaining ring in here. According to this blueprint, the bonnet retaining ring outside diameter is 212, but the valve body inside diameter is 180. So the question is how to put a big ring inside a small valve body. We can understand this by the bonnet retaining ring blueprint. Here is bonnet retaining ring blueprint for this check valve. We were going to cut the ring to four parts, and then we're going to put each part inside the valve body one by one. So that is a basic principle for us, how to put a big bonnet retaining ring inside the valve body, how to assemble the valve pressure seal, and also how to disassemble the pressure seal. We were going to use the hole already designed in the valve body. We were going to use a very thin stick to push the ring outside the valve body and take the ring each part one by one. So that is a basic principle how to assembling and disassembling the pressure seal. And also we already understand what is the pressure seal function and how to use the pressure seal to seal the pressure inside the valve body cavity. So that is for today. I hope you like it. See you next video. Bye bye.